The Chetamal Chamber of Commerce hosted a delegation of government officials and business representatives from Belize at its headquarters in Mexico today. Rigo Veos, the mayor of Corozal Town, provided some insight into the purpose of their visit. It's something where the BTIA Corozal uh, branch, they decided to come up with uh, the idea of wanting uh, to do an event on behalf of the coconut, you know, famous coconut, right? And, um, we're trying to, to see how we can mobilize tourism into Corozal through this event by uh, inviting specifically the Mexicans, specifically Chetumal, no? and I'm trying to see how we can get them across uh, to, to experience this event and eventually at a bigger scale, not only for this event, but for every weekend if possible or every day. The second annual Coconut Fest is scheduled for August 3rd in Corozal Town. The event is organized by the Belize Tourism Industry Association's Corozal Chapter. We have entertainment lineup the entire day, entire day. We start off at 9 a.m. We have a small parade with the local marching bands in Corozal, um, heading over to the Chactamal Plaza, which is the new development that Corozal has at the entrance. Um, and we'll have, it's a family fun day. Uh, we'll have activities, we have um, coconut uh, uh, competitions that we'll be doing. Um, there's going to be a wide range of food. Um, food specifically um, within the coconut and corn um, and so that gives us an opportunity to really showcase you know the culinary aspects of, of Corozal. But the discussion held today went beyond the tourism sector. There were talks of a partnership being formed to promote and enhance cross-border trade. Several Belizean businesses were present to introduce prospective consumers to their products from transportation to accommodation, communication and tours. We're basically here to um, showcase our service, um, specifically our Chetomal run that does the connection between Chetomal and Belize, specifically um, San Pedro and Kikoker. Today we are promoting our tourism cards. So we offer two packages, um, two different packages for our foreigners visiting our country. We offer a day pass, which in would include you um, unlimited data and $11 worth of calling time and 30 SMS. At today's event, government officials and private sector representatives from both sides of the northern border sat at a head table explaining the importance of Belize and Chetamal forging strong alliances in mutually beneficial sectors. Prior to their public address, the head table met privately to discuss the best approaches to realizing this vision. From that meeting, it was decided that a working group would be established. There were various issues that, that popped out. I think that um, when we look at cross-border, for example, the issues with, with fees, um, Fortunately, right now, I think the government has made um, advances in terms of, of doing that um, with the introduction of the Tren Maya now, the introduction of the Tulum International Airport. I think that gives us really the tools necessary for us to be able to start to work um, together as, as a region. Um, in the meeting earlier today, what we we'll discussed also is that we have common um, um, cultural bonds, especially in the northern part of Belize and, and Quintana Roo. And I think we need to start to explore that. Notably, Mexican authorities cited several difficulties that residents face when traveling into Belize. Most of these challenges exist at the border crossing point. In response, the government of Belize has removed travel duties for Mexicans coming into Belize. Also, a new statutory instrument affords Mexicans a seven-day duty-free stay in Belize. The Regional Integration Unit within the Ministry of Tourism was recently established to address these types of issues. Bearing in mind that currently, residents of Chetumal and Oton Blanco are able to visit Belize for two days and as long as immigration allows them to stay, to be able to uh, enjoy Belize, enjoy the attractions in Belize without paying any, any taxes. One of the officials from Kanako was telling us that they find it difficult, especially, and not only in Belize, but as well here in, in, their, in their immigration department where they have persons uh, that are rotated every six months and then you have new people coming in. Some of them are not familiar with the established protocols that are in place realmente that actually facilitate the movement of people. We also heard from Amir Espadas, the president of the Chetumal Chamber of Commerce, following today's discussions. 
He noted that Belize has significant leverage in the region as a member of CARICOM. I think it is very important to make this alliance that allows us to form a working table where we are government and businessmen, not only to solve immigration or border problems, or not only to look for tourism solutions. We want to look for solutions in trade, in export, in import, in commercial tourism, in medical tourism, and in education. We don't want these to be just proposals that remain up in the air. We want them to be concrete proposals that materialize as we are seeing today with this press conference. With the promotion of the coconut fair that will take place in Corozal, and with this exchange between hoteliers from Belize and Quintana Roo. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.